Hi, my name is Pilar Iñez and I'm the author of the book In Rain Fire. We're going to use this program to give you some advice to have a happy life. Today, we're going to learn about how not to trip yourself. How committed are you with your personal goals? I don't know if you have feel that you want a goal that you want to fulfill and you cannot do it, or that everything external in your life is taking control over you, or that everyone in your life is going on and you are left behind? Well, maybe it's because you are tripping yourself. I'm going to explain myself. The thing is that life is not something that happens to us. It's our creation. We are creating our life. There are a lot of people that want to fulfill or have a goal and they cannot execute it. And then we are blaming other people because of our mistakes. Also, I'll give you an example. I don't know if it has happened to you that when this December and you say to yourself, oh, I want to start a diet, or I want to make exercise, or I want to stop spending money with my credit card. But then when the day comes, you, you don't do it. They, when Monday comes and you have to wake up to go to do exercise, you say, oh, five minutes more in bed, and then you are not executing your own plans. Well, I have to tell you that you have trained yourself and your brain not to execute any plan. Each time that you have a plan or a goal, and then when the day comes and you do not, you do not execute it, your brain is trained to, do, to think, okay, this person has a goal, he's not going to do it, so I'm not going to make an effort to, to make it happen. So you are training yourself to trip yourself all the time. I ask you, how committed are you with your personal goals? How committed are you to do what you want to do and to be happy? Well, if you have had the problem that you have one plan and you cannot execute it, you have to think about the so-called comfort zone. The comfort zone is not on another thing, but a zone where you think you have everything under control. I have, to, I have to explain myself. The comfort zone is not something bad. Sometimes it's good to feel secure and to be under control in a situation. It depends on how you are using your comfort zone, to feel secure or to trip yourself. If you cannot execute your plans, that's when the comfort zone is a problem because it's making you stay still in the same place. So the first thing that you need to know is to find out what is ha happening. I'm going to give you some advice to go out of that comfort zone. The first thing that you need to do is to pick a thing, a goal that you want to achieve, that you really, really want to do it from the bottom of your heart. But at first, pick something that is really easy to do, really easy. For example, drinking eight glasses of, of water in a day. That is something that is really easy to do and you can commit it and you can do it. So pick something that is really easy, but you really want to do it. Then start to make a plan. Make a plan on how to achieve it. If I'm going to do it in this week, or I'm going to pick one day, or I'm going to do it in a year. The problem on, on taking a plan in a year is maybe you are going to trip yourself because you see that that time a long far away from the thing that you want to achieve. So it's better to have small success to go to a bigger success afterwards. So pick something that you want to do, uh, go and do a plan and implement it and see what's going on and try to achieve and put time to, one, to each one of the goals. And the third thing is run for it. Go and execute it. I have uh, um, met a lot of people that tell me, oh, I, I have a lot of attitude and life is attitude. Yeah, life is attitude. You need to have it. But also you need to go and act because it's not the same thing to have all the attitude and not to go and achieve your goals. So for example, if you want to stop spending money with your credit card because you have a lot of debt, then try to have a plan that you're really going to do to take down that debt. For example, if in a year you, you have found out that you can take out that debt, 
start to do the plan in a year, but then put it in months and then put it in weeks and then put it in a daily life. You will find out that each day, if you save some money at the end of the year, you can achieve your final goal. The same thing with a diet. If you want to take down some kilos, then put it in a year, then put the plan in a month, then in a week, and then in the daily life. And you will find out that small achievements and small success will give you the time to go to a bigger one. I hope this information will make you feel better and will make you to improve yourself and not trip yourself, trip yourself to not doing things. My name is Pilar Ibáñez. If you want to have more information, follow us in our social media and remember, everything starts when you ask. Bye.